The Query Generator is a useful reporting tool that requires some basic understanding of SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and it is the language you will use to pull the necessary data from the tables stored in SAP Business One when building your report. To open the Query Generator, go to Tools, Queries, and Query Generator. The first thing you should do when you are building your report using the Query Generator is figure out what tables the data is stored in in the system. Let's say we want to pull some sales data from our AR invoices. Open up an AR invoice document, then go to the View option and ensure system information is turned on. You can also turn on system information by using the keyboard shortcut Control shift i Let's start by finding the table names we will need to input into the query generator. When we hover over the fields on the AR invoice, notice how the system information displaying at the bottom will change based on what field we are hovering over. Towards the end of the system information displayed is where you will find the name of the table and the name of the field stored in the system. The capital letters OINV is the name of the table for the header of the AR invoice. If we want the table for the rows of the invoice, hover over one of the fields in the rows. We can now see the table for the rows of the invoice is INV1. Now that we know the names of the tables we need to start our query, we can type them directly into the field at the top of the query generator and then hit the tab key to add them in. Notice how the query generator automatically joins the tables in the From section on the right side of the tool. Every time you add a table to the query, go into the From section and add the syntax with no lock, like so. This should be done in the From section whenever a new table is referenced so that any other operation in the database that references the same table is not impeded when you are executing the query. We can now select the fields we want to display in our query. Choose the table you want to select your fields from, and then find the field name in the list and double-click it to add it to the select statement. To add fields from the rows of the invoice, click on the INV1 table, and in this case, we want to add the item code, item description, the item quantity, the unit price, and the line total or row total. Let's execute this simple query to see what it looks like. Here is our basic query. If we want to add more fields to the query, we can click the cancel button to take us back to the query generator, where you will notice our query we are building still remains. Let's add the sales employee code from the OINV table. You might notice that the data that appears in the query is not always very useful. In this case, the sales employee code does not really tell us explicitly who the sales employee is. If we go back to the query generator, notice that the sales employee code field is bolded. This indicates that even though this field displays on the invoice, it actually originates from another table. If we want to display the sales employee name in the query, we want to add the sales employee table into the generator. An easy way to do this is to simply click and hold on the field until the little box appears around the field. Then we can drag and drop this box over the list of tables to add in the sales employee table. Now, we can delete this field from our select statement and add in the sales employee name field from the new table. Since we added a new table, make sure to add the with no lock syntax after the reference to the table. This time, when we execute our query, the information displayed will be more useful. Let's look at some other ways we can refine our query. If we want to only display the results where the sales employee is Bill Levine, simply click into the Where Clause section and then select the Sales Employee field. Then, add in the proper syntax to filter the results. The query now will only give us the information we're looking for. Another powerful way we can refine our query is by using the Conditions function. We can add in our Sales Employee name to the Where Clause, and then we can select the Conditions button. Make sure to select the Where Clause field again and then choose a condition and assign one of the variables. When we execute this query, a selection criteria will appear. Now, anytime we run this query, we can filter the data by the sales employee we select in the selection criteria. You can also utilize the sort by section to help organize the data to your liking. Let's say we sort the data by the unit price. Select the sort by section then add in the unit price field. You can then manually tack on more syntax based on your requirements. Once we execute the query, we can now see that the data is sorted by the unit price in descending order. 
If you need to get rid of a table, make sure you highlight the table you want to discard, and then select the X towards the bottom of the generator. Notice how the fields that came from that table and the appropriate joins will be automatically removed from the statement when you click the X. Be careful when using the arrow button next to the X, as this function will add every field from the table list into the select statement. When you have finished building your query, you can use the copy data function to copy the results of the query for pasting somewhere external to SAP Business One. If this is a new query, click the Save button and define a name and category for storage in the Query Manager. Once the query is saved, you can execute it from the Query Manager anytime you want. If you want to make changes to the query, you can use the pencil icon to put the statement at the top into edit mode. Use the arrow to expand the box and then make your manual changes. Then, you can re-execute the query to make sure it performs as you wish. If you want to overwrite the existing query, use the Save button. If you want to keep the existing query, use the Save As button to save a new one. Assign the name and choose the category. Now, when you open the Query Manager, you will find both queries. The Query Generator is one among many tools that come with SAP Business One, and as an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. Visit our website at www.lbsi.com and click the contact link to get in touch with us. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales-related inquiries, or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.